And new development tonight in the murder of two girls in Delphi. Today, police release this new sketch right here of the man they believe murdered Abby Williams and Libby German. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Bars. And I'm Kylie Conway. Thanks for joining us. The sketch is significantly different than the one released shortly after the girls were killed. News H Richard Essex is in Delphi tonight where investigators released this sketch and has other information as well. Police released a sketch. They released new video and audio that was recovered from Libby's phone more than two years ago. Now take a look at this sketch. This is the sketch of a man that Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter says is the face of a murderer. According to police, the man in this sketch could be anywhere from his mid-20s to his mid-30s. Police are not sure of his age. They are confident that this dark-haired, curly man is the one that killed Abby Williams and Libby German. The sketch is based on video of the suspect recovered from Libby's phone more than two years ago. Police have also released new audio of the killer, what appears to be an extended version of the clip they released shortly after the girls were murdered. Police say this is one man saying, guys, get down the hill. Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter has asked the family of both girls not to talk to the media for at least two weeks. He did address the killer as if he were in the room with all of us today. Directly to the killer who may be in this room. We believe you are hiding in plain sight. For more than two years, you never thought we would shift gears to a different investigative strategy, but we have. Carter went on to say that they have most likely interviewed the person or someone very close to the killer. Police also say the killer is most likely in the Delphi area on a regular basis. In Delphi, Richard Essex, Wish TV, News 8. Richard, thank you. It's been more than two years since Abby and Libby were murdered. Let's go back to the beginning of the case. The girls were reported missing on February 13th, 2017. They'd been dropped off to hike near the Monon High Bridge Trail, but didn't show up when someone came to get them. Their bodies were found the next day on February 14th. On February 15th, investigators released a photo of a man reportedly seen on the trail around the time the girls disappeared. A few days later, on February 22nd, police revealed that Libby recorded the audio and video of the suspect on her cell phone and released a clip, which appears to be of a man saying, down the hill, as you heard earlier. Months would pass with investigators offering various updates, but it wasn't until July 17, 2017, when investigators released the first sketch of the suspect. The sketch, though, differs from the one that was released today. Our uh, coverage of the Delphi investigation continues right now at wishtv.com. There you can watch today's press conference in its entirety. You can also revisit all of our past stories on this. You can also find information on how to submit a tip to investigators. Anyone with a tip can call the FBI. That number is 844-459-5786 or send an email to Abby and Libby Tips at CACOSHRF.com.